Let me kind of explain what you guys are about to see in this video. So everyone kind of knows if they've looked into MBA programs that there's a lot of international travel and that's kind of the fun of the MBA a lot of the times. And this trip was me and about 35 classmates going to Kenya. Most of the times trips are just led by students or clubs and they're just kind of like a student led thing. But for this particular trip, I had to go as part of two international trips that I have to do throughout two years because I'm doing a dual degree through the Lauder program, which is a master's in international studies in addition to my MBA. So in this trip in particular, I went to Kenya to learn about their education system, while my other Lauder classmates went to places like Peru to learn about archaeology, Tunisia, Thailand to learn about Buddhism, and then there was one more, but I forget. So that's the background about the trip. Just wanted to give you guys some context. With that said, let's go into the vlog. Bye. Say hello. Goyama? <laughs> Where are we at? Oh, we're in uh, Amsterdam. <laughs> we're in Amsterdam. Oh. Yay, we made it to Kenya. Finally we made it to Kenya and this is what our room looks like. All right, so it's day zero or one and it's around 1.30 a.m. or so. We came in super late. I'm wearing a robe because I took a shower and the airline actually left my luggage in Amsterdam, which was our connecting flight. So gonna have to try to buy some clothes tomorrow for like a day. They're gonna deliver it on Sunday, which is two days later. A uh, little bit unfortunate, never happened to me before, but I guess it happens. Anyway, looking forward to a fun trip and hopefully this is a fun video for all of you. Hey, where are we? What's up? We're out here in Kenya with my friend Philip and Hannah. What did you guys think of the museum? It was nice. I felt like we learned a lot about Kenya. Well, it's like the Vietnam dead birds. Big fan. So, like, have you talked to your, like... How excited are you guys to eat? Super excited right now because after two days of not having my luggage and stuff, it finally arrived. Thought they were gonna lose it, but thankfully it got delivered to the hotel and I'm ready to wear fresh pairs of clothes. Where are we going right now? We're going to a restaurant called Red Ginger. Yeah, Asian food. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the vlog, but if you're interested in going on these kinds of trips and bonding with classmates in an MBA program, but you're studying for the GMAT and that's kind of an obstacle for you, I highly recommend a resource called Target Test Prep, also known as TTP. When I was studying for the GMAT, I did a lot of research on Reddit in particular, and what kept coming up was Target Test Prep. And what I really like about it is that it takes a topic by topic approach in order to make sure that you're prepared for any question that can pop out on the exam. Here's how it works. For both quant and verbal, TTP breaks down all of the individual topics that appear on the GMAT, and with them come lessons and practice tests ranging from easy, medium to hard that lets you hone your skills and master each topic. 
DTP is a one-stop shop that covers both quant and verbal sections of the GMAT, and it's the only company on GMAT Club with a triple-digit five-star rating. TTP allows you to create your own customized study plan, and I credit them a lot for helping me get a 750 on the GMAT. And so if you're interested in checking out TTP for five days for just $1, you can use my link down in the description below. With that said, let's go back into the vlog. <laughs> All right, what'd you guys think of the school? It was spectacular. Yeah. I think what an incredible awesome. opportunity to be able to be in this facility that is not only academic, but also about soft skills and communication and sports and team building. They even have a farm. What? Yeah, an I mean, a fantastic opportunity for the top kids in their counties um, to all get, come together learn a little bit of cultural diversity, tribal diversity, ethnic group diversity, um, and excel. Um, so many kids you know, who want to be engineers, but are top athletes, who know how to um, you know, uh, sing and, and are fantastic artists. Yeah, they're really very cool well-rounded. Super well-rounded. <laughs> Send it to Cheers. me. Okay, it's a good thing. <laughs> the safari will be done by 10.30. Rebecca, how was yesterday? Well, it wasn't great because I had food poisoning. Yes. Happy on everyone, every international trip. Everyone seemed to have a really fun time otherwise. Yeah, it was so. pretty fun. Bye. Bye. Where are we going, May? To yeah, meet the governor of Kasumu. Who's her who's his daughter? Lupita Nyongo. Yay. Heading back to the hotel. <laughs> I'm super tired. And Hello, my name is Mercedes. <laughs> English Jumbo. is my second language. Don't do that. To be able to be in this facility that is not only academic, but. Huh? All right, we just got delayed for like an hour. Played a lot of Big Two with Alex and May. May, how many games did you win? All of them. Also, we weren't delayed by an hour, we've been delayed by 10 minutes, so he's being a bit dramatic. Oh! Or no, she's lying, she's Can lying. On this? Hello, hi. hi May, man, May 1 0. It's around 6 a.m., and we're now headed to Safari, so let's see some animals. <laughs> you guys excited for Safari? Yes! 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 How you guys enjoying the safari so far? Oh, great! Big we time. Saw, we saw lions. We okay. saw rhinos. What else did we see? Water buffalo. We saw a tractor right here. <laughs> so everything we see is me. Bunch of MBAs in the wild. How are the lions? The lions are so cool. Oh, Ah, Lax looks so cute. <laughs> this is the brochure. One final night in Kenya, you know, we've had 
A lot of bullshit, but I think we're finally done. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. All right, so checking in again, and we're nearing the end of the trip. I'm about to leave or go on the bus to a final dinner, and then it's off to the airport. It's gonna actually take 24 hours door to door to get back to my apartment in Philly. Really can't wait until I'm back, um, but hope you all enjoying the video so far. As a quick kind of recap of the trip thus far, I think learning about Kenya's education system and going through or going to all the different types of schools, everything from the really nice foundation academies like Impasa all the way to the slums and everything kind of in between uh, was really eye-opening for me and I'm leaving Kenya now with a lot of gratitude for what I have in the States. I know that's probably what a lot of people would say after they visit a developing country but I can't really help but feel that way. So I'm gonna head to the bus now off to dinner and then show you a few more clips and then conclude the video. I'd like you guys doing it individually. Okay. In a longer video. We made it home after 24 hours of travel. Oh my goodness. So happy. So exhausted. <laughs> Finally made it home and this will be the end of the video. Hope you guys all enjoyed listening to some Frank Ocean and just gonna relax for the rest of the day. Hope to catch you all in the next video. Thanks so much guys and peace out.